Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Georgia and I'm mainly reviewing fragrances for men and women. In this video I'm gonna talk about another Italian fragrance and this is by the House of Police and the fragrance name is To Be. What a shocker, right? To be or not to be, this is the question. Hamlet and it was inspired by that phrase and also inspired by the famous crystal skulls. I think it's a really interesting design if you ask me and the juice I'm gonna talk about in a couple of seconds. This fragrance was launched in 2011 and it is a woody and spicy fragrance for men. I do have here a 4.2 flare ounces of Eau de Toilette to be for men. And I discovered this actually in a picture that I saw on Instagram. And I went to go ahead and buy this fragrance or look it up at least to see what it's, what it's all about because I didn't know about it. And to my surprise, this fragrance cost about $14 for 4.2 Fleur ounces Eau de Toilette and look at the design. Of course, if you're not into skulls, then you probably won't like it, but I do like it and I think it's interesting. It is a fragrance for men. It was launched in 2011. FragranceNet has it for a cheap price and you can look into the whole brand. I think it's worth it. And among the notes we have in the top, we have grapefruit and pepper. In the middle, we have violet leaf. In the base, we have amber, Virginia cedar, and patchouli. To me, this fragrance, and I do like the atomizer, it works really good. And also the little detail here, which holds it in place beautiful right it is a very fresh spicy aromatic citrusy also woody if you ask me actually it starts fresh and woody and then the dry down is aromatic and citrusy at the same time the only problem with this fragrance is it doesn't last too long. It lasts about three or four hours, but if you have 4.2 flare ounces for $14, I don't think it matters. I mean, for me, it wouldn't matter because I would reapply it or my husband would reapply it anyways. And uh, it is a versatile fragrance. It is a masculine fragrance. It is also an airy fragrance with light aquatic notes and it goes a little bit in the direction of the Givenchy what is it incense ultramarine just a little bit just because of the aquatic notes it goes in that direction of course um it's different but it's similar in a way so don't don't assume that oh yeah it's a clone no it's not a clone it is a very masculine, very sexy, very potent fragrance. I think you get noticed with this fragrance. I would see Johnny Depp in the Pirates of the Caribbean wearing this fragrance because I think it suits him. Airy and interesting and uh, also a little bit of aquatic. And the fact that it's a skull, it's wow great to have in your collection especially if you have to pay only 14 dollars for a 4.2 flare ounce bottle which looks great and interesting also as a piece of uh, design on your furniture it smells good as well so it's a win-win police to be my name is georgia thank you so very much for watching and see you in my next video.